Okay, so since last video I showed you guys how to download brushes for Photoshop, uh, today I'm going to be showing you guys how to download different fonts for Photoshop. And I believe that these fonts will actually transfer into programs such as Microsoft Word, and they will definitely transfer into Illustrator and other Adobe programs. So, to begin with, just search uh, defont.com, and I will post a link to that in the description. But you go here, and right off the bat, you see that there is a bunch of different fonts. Now, you can browse different fonts. It's the second time that's happened. Um, all right. Yeah, so you browse different fonts in this main screen. Uh, you could just click one of these categories or you can search a specific type of font. Now I'm just going to go to modern, see what these are. So, I like Cybertooth, that's a pretty cool font. So, I'll, you click download, save the file just like the brushes, you can close your internet, and locate where you downloaded it pretty much the same steps so far as brushes and then you will get a you might get a folder if they've included other things besides the TTF file but if they haven't then it, it will just extract by itself so then I I'm not sure about this but I believe the installation is different on Windows uh, you might have to look that up on Google and just see where to drag this TTF file but for Mac it's pretty straightforward you double click it you can see the preview here and then you just click install font and it's that easy it installs it right to your font book in uh, your Mac library so Windows you might have to drag it somewhere but shouldn't be too hard to figure out and then you can just go ahead and delete the file since it's already installed and when we open up Photoshop, create a new document, font test, and you click your text tool, and then under this bar, you can locate what it was called. Now this one was called Cybertooth, so it should be in here. Yes, there it is. So you could click, uh, I'll type, Pluggerware. You can go resize it, do whatever you would normally do with your fonts. And yeah, uh, pretty straightforward. Uh, on Windows, you might have to drag it, but other than that, it's pretty much the same basic installation as the brushes were. And then you can change the colors of the font, same as normal and yeah it's pretty pretty easy um, uh, next lesson I will be showing you guys filters to put on your different images and layers to make it more like what you saw in project 2 so you can make some really cool designs with that so please comment rate and subscribe and tell me how this goes for you and let me know if you have any problems and I will continue to make videos.